It's your boy, Big E. It's your girl, White Jones. We are the Critical Crew. And today's special guest happened to be Ty Henny. Yo, you already know. Boy, <laughs> Ty Henny, man, from the projects, man. Hey, you know the projects, baby, man. New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> this dude. Hold <laughs> on, hold on. He trying promo. to put this light skin voice on. I don't understand that. Hey, yo, man, I don't like I, I don't like yelling because I lose my voice quick. Like, oh, when, okay, I talk, okay. when I talk loud, like, my okay. voice mad scrappy, so, like, I, I lose it fast. Oh, okay, okay. Speaking of voice, your voice is very original. Yeah. Did, did you? Uh, no, I'm not gonna Another start. One. I'm, I'm, I'm really sit not back gonna on this start. One, I she just you. start off with the flirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she ease y'all. This is how no, she get the, all the answers just, out of y'all. Oh, man, That's why I sit work. back and just. Nah, I like to work for my answer. Go but no, seriously though, how is it? You know, with you having a different type of voice, did you mm -hmm. grow into that voice, or did you just? Because it's very, very different. Yeah. Well. When I was younger, like, my voice wasn't like this. Like, it cracked when I was, like, 13. Uh -huh. And I didn't even know it cracked. It's, I had a little shorty, and she was 12. So I called her house, and she and her mother thought I was a grown man. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm only 13. Like, <laughs> like, so I ain't like my voice. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I got older, I ain't like it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, yo, your voice mad raspy. So I'm like, I don't like that. Uh -huh. Then when I started rapping, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, yo, I like your voice. Yo, your voice hot. I was like, what? So you just yeah, it just, it just grew on me. Like, you know what I mean, I only like my voice when I hear it on the beat. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Word. Like, like my voice still annoying to me a little bit. You know, what is saying? it? So I don't talk. <laughs> so, t so tell them about you for uh, people that don't know Ty Henny, even though it's rare. Um, people who don't know about me, man, I'm just a regular cool dude, man. I just came from a bad situation, a bad environment. You feel me? I'm just trying to make the best out of it. That's it, man. That's what's up. Now, yeah. do you have kids? Yeah, I got two kids. I got a seven year old and a two year old. I mean, um, Karan and um, Taekwon. Shout out to them. Yeah, oh, man. Okay. Man. Two boys? Yeah, two boys. Ooh. Man. Yeah, man. One they, Trey, I got two girls. They different. <laughs> they like yin and yang, man. Uh -huh. they like, they two totally different kids. Like, and like, it gave me an insight, like, on being the dad. So it made me, like, you know what I mean? It just give me, like, more, more stuff to choose from. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of stuff ain't worth it to me no more. Like, you know what I mean? The same Henny that used to be out there wilding. Like, mm -hmm. I can't be out there like that no more. That's like, what's up. I hear that. I ain't like it no more. I'm glad you're here, though, Ty Henny. Yeah, you know, man, I'm, I'm, too, gl man. I'm glad you're yeah, here for yeah, one particular you. reason. Yeah, looking at me. Yeah. I'm here for one particular yeah. reason. <laughs> he looking at me. Because, Henny, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something right uh, now. Man. Oh, man, me and her used to meet up. Go Your win. name used to came up and okay, come up, and she was like, I'm going to hurt that boy. I'm telling you, I'm going to get him. I was like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, man. I, I'm tell so I, I, I'm I'm happy you're here, all right, you know, so she can look you in your eye and cuss you out. Yeah, man. I you like know. some respect. Yeah, <laughs> so, so you know, let's put some respect on it. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, man. Now for your listeners and, and for viewers, mm -hmm. um, your story is very very rare. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you came out in a time where I mean, when I say everybody was feeling your music, mm -hmm. to this day everybody's feeling your music. Mm -hmm. If I if even if I hear somebody say they don't like you, every there will be someone ready to advocate and say why you the best. Yeah. You know what I mean? How does it feel to know that your fans really like go hard for you? It feel good, you know what I'm saying, just to get you know some type of recognition recognition for something you do, like you know what I mean, something that you don't gotta pay to do, you know what I mean, something that you just born with, you know, like a gift, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it feel good at the end of the day, like you know what I mean. At the same time. Think about it. I'm 25 now. When I started mm -hmm. rapping for the town, I was about 18, 19. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about it. Like, these little kids that would listen to me at 13, 14, mm -hmm. now they 18, 19, 20 now. You know <laughs> exactly. what I'm saying? So it, they rapping now. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's 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 a, it's a you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. You blowing he up. Bring, look, he look. He getting calls for a show right now. Look at this. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, man. This show money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how does it feel to know that you inspire a lot of other artists, up-and-coming artists? I mean, do you take it as a copycat type of situation, or do you take it as, like, yo, I made that? Excuse me? How about, what do you mean by that? Like, as in, do you feel like it's a copycat situation, like Ty Henny rap? Do you feel like you're an inspiration to them, or do you feel as though, yeah. like, it's, you know, you're trying to nah. come on my territory type? Nah, 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 because... At the end of the day, everything started like that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, nobody, like, basketball is a sport. You know what I mean? It took more than one person to play. Definitely. You know what I mean? Everything take time, man. You know what I mean? If you see somebody making money selling T-shirts, man, you starving, man. I'm going to get on the block and sell me some shirts, too. Like, exactly. you know what I mean? I'm going to motivate somebody. It ain't about nothing. It's just about, you know what I mean, giving people something else to do other than, you know what I mean, something negative. Now, you know dude, I mean? when, when your listeners have, I know that you, because you're very uh, popular. Yeah. So I know that um, every artist have, uh, fans 
where they're very, very, I mean, I'm pretty sure your inbox and your DMs are crazy. So <laughs> I know ladies. that you, <laughs> I know that you have some fans that expect a lot more when they see you and you're seem you're a very mellow, cool dude. Yeah. So do you get that pandemonium where they're like, Tiny, take me a picture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How do you deal with that type of stuff? Uh, I, I, I let them get them. Like, I don't care how many of it. Yeah, I want 10 pictures a piece. Like, I don't care. Like, mm -hmm. let's let's go. Like, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, that's just what you got to get ready for. You know what I'm saying? We had a small market, so I got to be able to deal with it now if I'm going to deal with it later. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, Would you call yourself very approachable? Yeah, but people just don't approach me because of stuff I rap about and the stuff they hear about in the streets, you know what I mean? Definitely. So they don't approach me. Like, a lot of people scared. Like, I was just in the mall the other day, and I bumped into my baby mother and shit. And we, oh, I'm sorry. Now you go. Hey, handle um, your business, baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, I bumped into my baby mother, and, and you know I mean, we were just chopping it up at the mall, and some little kids just started standing around in us. So I'm like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and they turned their head. So I started talking to my baby mother again, so she like, Y'all want to take a picture with him? They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yo, y'all sitting there for five yeah. minutes. Now, why do you there. think that they, they're they very standoffish with you? Do you think it's your image or do you think it's what they hear? Be, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because like, I'll be honest. I, I didn't like approaching your ass neither. I was just like, <laughs> but I don't know Here it come. You know Here it come. No, because I didn't know how you would take it. You know, yeah. when you hear, like I say, when you hear a lot of things, you hear a lot of positive things, and then mm -hmm. you hear negative things. Yeah. So when, when especially when it's something that's new, this project, you know, was something new, and I didn't know exactly how to approach you, not being that I'm scared because I'm not afraid of anything. The worst answer that you can get is no. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're very, like, Manage like, uh, yeah, like, aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, but that's you know what I mean that's only to certain situations because it's a business state of mind like coming from where I come from you know what uh -huh. I mean just not being a pushover you know what I mean but for the most part like you know what I mean I, man I'm a good kind hearted person man everybody tell you like you know what I'm saying I'm one of the persons that well people in the hood that that's trying to stop all the violence exactly. like you know what I mean I'm always the one trying to stop saying when the sun trying to pop over I'm like yo chill like you know what I exactly. mean they like yo nah you know what I mean and, and, and you know what I mean. It's just my image, you know what I'm saying? It's just I don't smile a lot, you know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. it's certain stuff, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's what's up. Now, I know that you have bought a lot of, um, you collabed with a lot of artists um, mm -hmm. in the industry. Mm -hmm. How was that, you know, experience? Like, was it something you knew was going to happen? Or did you put it together or you just decided to reach out? Yo, um, <laughs> to, to be honest, I wasn't in the paying for features. I'm like, yo, man, what? They want thousands of dollars? Yeah. I'm like, yo, man. <laughs> What? My mom need a car. <laughs> like, That's I can't get up. nobody thousands of dollars my mom need a V. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, I was uh, in, a, in my studio session in Bridgeport, and um, they got a phone call that um, Little Her was in town. Mm -hmm. That show with Dan Barry and um, uh, Big Mike. I was like, yeah, I know Ty Henny. Um, asked him, do he want to um, link up with her? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm like, yeah, and I mean, I don't really know him. I never, mm -hmm. I ain't really heard of her. Like, you know what I mean? I had a little cousin who played a couple songs. Exactly. There, so I'm like, you know what I mean, he, well, it's a thousand people in Chicago, you know what I mean? So I, exactly. I wasn't worrying about them. So they was in their studio when I got the news, like, yo, he in town, you know what I mean? He looking for people mm -hmm. to work with, so, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So they was all super, like, yeah, yo, Andy, do it, man. And so they like $2,000, you know what I mean? And, and I mean, I know he probably wasn't even worth it at the time, but, exactly. you know what I mean? But he was out here, you know, cleaning up his cash. I know Big Mike probably wanted his cut, you know what I mean? That's, all, that's, that's, that's off the record. That's off the record, that's off the record but, you know what I mean? That's, that's his job, that's his job, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I mean, you got to pay people to get what you want, you know what I mean? So, so, you know what I mean? I did it, the record, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't know him, so it wasn't no no starstruck mm -hmm. moment. It was like, yo, what's up, homie? Listen, exactly. I'm about to lay this hook. You can lay your verse. You don't even got to stay to listen to the song. Uh -huh. nah, I know you tired. Go <laughs> get, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Yeah. And I mean, and they just felt the vibe, and I mean, and they just, you know what I mean? They we just linked up and just exchanged numbers in the bank. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I wanted to know, um, being that you you were the, to me, you were an artist that's really, really complete. Mm. Um. You have the image, you know, you post up all the time. Mm. You know what I mean? You, you seem like you really keep that focus on basically satisfying your fan base. Mm -hmm. um, is it hard always having to dealing with your, you know, your children, dealing with the career, and then you doing what you're doing as well as hustling, keeping your music on top? Is it like you know a lot to to keep yourself consistent? No, Yo, that's the hardest part. You know what I mean? Is getting back into the music when you have a real life. Like you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I lost two cousins last year, you know what I mean, like my like, like eight weeks apart. Like you know what I mean? Like two of my little cousins, you know what I'm saying, younger than me. So. Like it was, it's hard, like, you know what I mean, when you when, when your mindset on trying to, you know, make ends meet, you know what I mean, then, mm -hmm. you know, you got stuff going on in your life, then I had court issues, you know what I mean, all legal issues and all that, so it was just really hard to do it, like, so if you, like, you if you kind of look at my music track, or if you look at my SoundCloud and look at, you see it go dry sprouts, like, where there's no, there's no music getting put out, mm -hmm. then you see where 
I, I snap out of it and I drop a, a, a whole bunch of music. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then I go back in, and then go try to reinvent another situation. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So you basically push yourself no matter what. And no the matter what. I'm, is. I'm making music whether I'm recording it. I'm making it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm making it. I'm always doing music. I'm, you know what I mean? Always. Now, where do you gravitate towards? Because I know that you have a lot of pain. Like you said, you, yeah. you went through two losses. Um, do, you, do you have certain things that you go back to just to get that inspiration? Yeah, the projects. Like I go to the projects sometimes. I go to sometimes. Like you know, what I mean, I go to the projects early morning, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And, you know, light my little weed up, get in the car, and put on my instrumentals and just you know, what I mean, I rap about the stuff we did in the hood. Like, you know, what I mean, just looking mm -hmm. at certain spots remind me of certain memories and certain situations, and you know, what I mean, keep me you know, what I mean, in tune of what's going on. You know, what I mean. So. Do you ever um think about like you know, rest in peace, Chinks, his situation? How he was another brother that didn't want to leave the hood. When he made it, always came to the hood. And you see what ended up happening to him and Stack Bundle. So I'm Rest saying that peace. to you because you out here making noise. Mm -hmm. I, I I see you right now about to be one of those artists mm -hmm. that's about to get on. Mm -hmm. So you going to still come to the hood? Um, Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to come everywhere. I want people to touch me. You know what I mean, you only get one life. You know what I mean? Like... No matter what, like long as my people's in the situation, that's the only thing I'm coming in for is like to put my people's in a better situation. Mm -hmm. After I situate my my people, I want people to touch me like Farrakhan. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. want come and I like it's about to come up. Like you know what I mean? I don't just rap about to come. It's really about trying to show some people how to get out of projects, man. Some people moms rent is twenty four dollars. Like you know what I mean? And then there's people jumping off the porch for Jordans instead of getting their mom out the hood. You know that. what I mean? It's just crazy. Like so, it's like. Like you can't stop the, the the environment, the stuff that going on in the environment because government put you there. But just think about the mindset, you know what I mean? Think about how much it costs to get your mom out the hood and think about how many pair of Jordans you got. You know what I mean? And just think about, you know what I mean, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like Robins, people buying ball mains for a thousand dollars for a, a pair of jeans, you know what I'm saying? And people mom rent is twenty four dollars. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you could bought ten pair of ball mains, you could you could could have got a franchise of subway for fifteen thousand. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know what I mean? It's exactly. just about being business there tomorrow, like, you know what I mean? Just Trying to show people that even if you start off negative, it don't always got to be like that because the, the project starts you off negative. Like you, you don't even mean to. You just look outside exactly. and you see drug dealing. You see people getting shot. You see guns. Like it ain't your fault. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. what you was born into. That's what the government put you in there. You know what I'm saying? So it's about showing people how to just beat it. You know what I mean? Just get out of there. Like you know what I mean? You can't start over till you get out. You know what I mean? To get out. Speaking again, now I see you got a tattoo that's freshly new. Mm -hmm. um, the Yale emblem. Now. Speaking of get speaking of getting out, um, mm -hmm. that's something where, like you said, we this college, this university is huge, it's big. Yeah. There's people that cry to get here, yeah. and here we is, well, here we are. We live in the city, mm -hmm. in the state, yeah. and we don't think about going never, to Yale. Never, we, not we walk by it. We like walk by nothing. it like it's nothing. We don't look at Yale. So you got it. What what is, what does it say? What does it represent for you? Me, see, I'm on the black side of everything, man. I, I'm pro black, if you want to say that, man. I don't care, like, you know what I mean? Definitely. For record, like, so I look at it like, Yale can't just claim the good people, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely they correct. They can't just claim all the rich people, That's man. That's what's up. You know what I mean, my birth certificate say Yale, you know what I mean? Exactly. So they got to claim me, too. Like, yeah, I got to <laughs> claim, claim all the kids on food stamps, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I got to claim us, and, 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 and if y'all going to take care of all these rich people, y'all got to take care of us, too, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, get, you know what I'm saying? And that's really what it's all about, like letting them know, man, everything ain't good in, in New Haven, everything ain't good around Yale, you know what I mean? Like saying it's it's a dirty game, it's all politics, you know what I mean? That's dope because I got a whole nother message from it. So I'm I'm really happy that that's what that stands for yeah. because like you said, That's we, what it stands for, but I got it like but what I got it for for people that don't know who knew, exactly, where New Haven is right. is just they know where Yale at more than they know where Connecticut exactly, as the state. You're Definitely right. that. <laughs> you're you know right. what I mean? It ain't even New Haven. They know Yale more than they know the state. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, where Connecticut, man? Listen, man, right where Yale at. <laughs> you know, they, that's where we at, man. That's yeah. where I'm from. I'm from Yale. You know what I mean? You know that's, what I mean? That's, that's true. That's, that's, that's that's you go true. down south, they don't you believe right, it's black people in Connecticut. That's the crazy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's the crazy. I mean, I was just down south. They like. I'm in Miami. They're like, you from Connecticut? There's black people there? Yeah, like, yeah. Yo, it's projects yeah. out there. Yeah, I seen you yeah, post you know it up, I mean? and you was just like, yo, how you don't know where, where Connecticut yeah, is? You know like, what I mean? So I was yeah. just like, that's probably where, you know, you got the inspiration from, and yeah. that's dope. That's definitely dope, and, a, and a definitely a positive message to flip. Yeah. Um, on the flip side of things, you know, you coming from the hood, do you feel like you get more hated than you get love? Um, it's like a 50-50. Mm -hmm. Because... You know, it's all about the love you spread. You know what I mean? Like, 
lot of people think I don't spread love. People think because I don't repost their stuff. You know what I mean? I don't like their stuff on Instagram and all that like that. You know, I ain't showing love. But if uh, if I see somebody out there with their CD, man, let me buy that. I see you got a shirt, let me get that. Ask everybody who got a shirt out. If I ain't hit them up, they must don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They must feel some type of way because I'm sponsored by Mindless Thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I hear everybody, man, I'll wear it, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just I'm sponsored by Mindless, so you, you won't see it on my Instagram. But I'll wear it around the town, you Definitely. know what I mean? Let everybody see it to support you. Like, and I will buy it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't looking for nothing. I'm, I'm here for everybody. That's, that's what's, what's up. up. Like, that's <laughs> that's really dope. <laughs> you know, because when you come as a, in a perspective, like, if you don't know a person, automatically you you gravitate yeah. towards the yeah. negative or the positive things that they say. So when you don't know a person, you automatically are drawn to what they're saying. There yeah. you go. So I'm glad that, he cleaned you right up. Yeah, that's you, all you, I got to say. You, you cleaned her right up. I'm talking <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm just happy you cleaned her up, Henny. Nah, I, um, I definitely respect your music, though, because there's a lot of people who are... I come into it and they automatically, why you ain't have Ty Henny up there? Why you ain't have Ty Henny up there? What's up with Ty Henny? What's up with Ty Henny? Like, it's people that actually said to me, I will not listen anymore if you don't have Ty Henny up there. So (laughs) it spoke measures as to how you touch the people. Like you said, you want to be felt. So exactly what are you getting? What is your main goal from, you know, you rapping? Um, I just want to get my family a a new start. I just want to get them... um, like the new generation of kids that's being born in my family. Mm-hmm. I want them to be like, I want them to grow up outside the projects. I want them to get the same, you know what I mean, the same opportunities as the white kids in the suburbs. Like, I want them to just, if they if they end up fuck ups, fuck it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I just want at least them to get the, the chance, like to come outside and don't have to see nobody selling drugs. I want, like, you know what I mean? Because when you a kid and you see that, that's the first thing on your mind. Like, you, like I see yeah, more I drug dealers that. than people with jobs, you know what I'm saying, coming exactly. from myself. So. I just want my my family to get the equal opportunities. That's it. That's all I want out this music. I don't care. Like I, I told I told everybody. Like after my first deal, I probably won't rap again. Like you know what I mean. I'm I'm the type of guy. I'm not trying to keep up with Jay Z. Give me a million dollars. Mm-hmm. I take a, I take a small crib in Florida and put all the money That's in Chase account. Up. You know what I mean. And I just live with my kids. You know what I'm saying. That's what's up. You know, most people. You're like the second artist that I had talked to that take it serious, but w- the outcome isn't long for longevity no. it's it's to make sure your family's yeah. good and everybody else around yeah, yeah. you is good so that's definitely a good feeling knowing that you come from a state of so much negativity and you still want to do something positive yeah absolutely now was your father in your life and your mom in your life yeah both my dad my dad was the biggest inspiration like he he rapped that's why i rap i didn't oh, rap i played so basketball i quit hill house basketball team <laughs> i was the only freshman the year they won the year the year Kwame, I was family the year the year Kwame and chaz and the one um i forgot what year it was oh, it was six. my freshman it's my freshman year. I was the only freshman on the team, and I quit it. And they gave the spot to my boy Nani. He got the mm. ring. He, he always <laughs> talk about like it's supposed to be your ring. <laughs> and I mean, I quit. You know what I mean? I was you know, I was a hard headed little kid, but I was always talented at basketball, just like rap. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Just as good. Like if, if people will tell you, like you know what I mean? I, I was good. Like, but I just was high headed, man. You know what I mean? Just streets caught up. You know. And then I mean? you decided to flip it. Yeah, and the, yeah, because my dad he take me to the studio. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And but. When he died and all that, I was like, I ain't rapping no more, man. I'm not gonna be a famous rapper. Like uh-huh. nobody ain't gonna like like what I say. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? And then look at it. Yeah. But so that's what's up. Yeah, that was just my dad part. You know what I mean? Like my dad played the biggest inspiration. Like. Now you do a lot up. of shows, correct? Yeah, a lot, a lot of shows. <laughs> he said, yeah. Li- like, do you like so doing humble. more shows? <laughs> do you like doing more shows versus the studios? Like, cause it's definitely a different feeling when you do shows and when you're actually in the studio. Do you like the energy that you get? It's, it's different. Mm-hmm. Your studio is your it's self-motivation for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not the type of person, like, I don't need a party in the studio. I just take me and the engineer. We're going to come up with something. Like, you know what I mean? I just need peace. Like, I'm I'm running from the world when I'm in the studio. You know what I mean? I, I need peace. You know what I mean? So it's just a self-vibe. But when you in the, the crowd, when you when when they give you that energy, mm-hmm. you can't, like, you got it. Got to be the same. You know what I mean? You got to be reciprocal. You know what I mean? They got to see that. They got to yeah. see the energy they giving you. Then you giving them more than mm-hmm. they giving you more. It's just like you know what I mean? It's just like you know what I mean? It's just a good thing. You know what I mean? Like that. It, but it's two different. It's two different worlds. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's two different worlds. This for yourself. This for them. Like you know what I mean? Exactly. It's, you know what I mean? It's like profiting. You know what I mean? And yeah. promo. You know gotcha. what I mean? So who are some of the producers that you're working with? Oh, I'm working with some good promote. I'm um, producers. Um, I'm working right now with uh. The breed. Shout out to okay. them. Like they, boys. Them, them my guys right now. <laughs> 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 stuff. Like they, they got That's me on vibe right there. Yeah, they got they got me on the on a wave right now. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? They got up. me on a stupid wave. But um I'm working with them, I'm working with DJ Mustard, you know what I mean? I'm working with um 
y'all probably don't really know these people. They um produce a lot for Lucci, but this name Lexi Banks. Don't matter. Banks. Shout them out, Lexi. Uh, definitely. Lexi Banks. Um, Follow on Twitter. Uh, it's a it's a few produ- Oh, uh, V Don. I don't know if y'all know him. He mm-hmm. did a lot of stuff for Vado and Jada Kiss and them mm-hmm. and Wiz and them. And, like. I've been working with. There's too many people to uh, to, to, start to name. Like I got so many producers. Like you know what All I mean. Right. Yeah, Shout that. out to my little cousin Novity. He he my um he my sound for my whole team. Like he got the Steph sound. And shout out to uh, Derek, you know, Fireman Beat, Young Blake sent me stuff. You know, that's I got a lot up. of, it's just a too much. Just, just like, I got name. an email full of beats. Exactly. That's yeah. what's up. So do you, how do you hand pick your beats? Like, you got to be in a certain mood. You got to wake up and be in bed. Do you got to be on the toilet? What you, yeah. like, what's your thing? Shower? How do you pick your beats? Yo, the B100, <laughs> they pick me. You know what I mean? I <laughs> if I go to my don't email worry. looking for something and I see something say beats from somebody, I don't care who it's from. I'm going to listen. You know what I mean? If it's hot. I'm using it. I don't care. You could be a nobody. You could be a somebody. It doesn't matter. You can't deny good music. Now, do you have a crazy ritual? Like, when you go into the studio? Because there's a lot of people that need candles lit. No, no. Hold, hold. (laughs) Nothing like that. So what is your ritual? Candles, my ritual, my, my ritual, it, it, it's just weed and Gatorade. You know weed what I mean? That's it. That's, that's all I thing. need. Weed Shout and Gatorade. Gatorade. Weed, weed and Gatorade. Keep, I never heard nothing like that. That's, that's the new turn up syrup. Weed and Gatorade. Weed and Gatorade. Like, you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. Like I mean, when I do drink, I get some, you know, more wet sometimes. You know what I mean? No Henny. Your name Henny. I I barely drink Henny. You know what I mean? So how did you get the name? Henny. My father named. Uh, was Kurt Henny when he was about 17, mm-hmm. 16, 17 in the project. So when so I jumped up the porch and I started getting money, they started calling me Ty Henny. <laughs> oh. I'm like, stop calling me that. I don't like that name. Like, I don't like that. Like, you know what I mean? I was drinking Tangeray at the time. Oh. I mean, I'm like, don't call you. Might as well call me Tang. Like, you know what I mean? He was fresh off the porch drinking Tangeray. Yeah. Fresh off the porch. Young, the porch. young, 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 <laughs> young man. Young. Damn, young. he jumped straight into Tang. Tang- you Tangeray. You say get some I ain't care. I, I was out here, like, you know what I mean? Young boy, soup to have liquor. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean? You went straight to tank. You, you had the little red things on the back yeah. of your I, I, I had to put them on my yeah, on my, my uh, next tail. I used what? to put them on my hat and sure everything. Man. You know what I mean? I was soup. Sixteen with a bottle. That's wow. crazy. You know I mean? So that's where you get Thai Henny from. Yeah, it was my a father. And they was adopted. Right like on. people, everybody always said, like, yo, why you don't never drink Henny and your name Henny? That ain't my name, B. Like it's just like being a junior. You know what I mean? What's up. So you decided to. Your own ritual, Gatorade and weed. Gatorade, Gatorade everybody, everybody, is the plug. Everybody man. know. As soon as we go to the stool, man, Gatorade and weed, the white kind. I like Gatorade the white Gatorade. And that's, that's that's my thing, the white Gatorade, man. Are you serious? The white Gatorade, man. I my my cousin got me some green shit, but I'm gonna drink it. But you know, I would like to get the you white. Like one. the white one. Gatorade. Weed. That's the right. That's that's. That's all I'm gonna stay on that's, right there. That, I mean, it's different. I never heard of that before. I Gatorade. thought I was gonna hear like you gotta wear slippers. And nah. Maybe a roll. Just Gatorade. I don't, know, just... I, I don't feel right if I ain't got no Gatorade light. And I don't feel is right if I ain't got no weed. Is it because your voice is raspy? Is that why you feel like you needed wet pulls? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that why? Why you pulls? Uh, is that why? I got to pulls. So why you pulls? And it sound okay with that. <laughs> you don't have to pulls on that. I got to pulls. You never know who got who Listen, nowadays. Listen, if I would have said <laughs> something like that, that was a pause. You got to pulls. You said it. Yeah, yeah, I got You said it. Ain't no pause to that. Listen, I got to pause it. I'm not being flirtatious. But Henny don't want you to pause that one. He wants you to keep going with that. Like, feed into that. What do you mean? Wet. Do not feed into his voice. Go ahead. Henny, like, what do you mean, wet? Yeah, man, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. What you mean, what? Nah, I just, I, I would have thought, you know, d- differently because I'd never heard of Gatorade and weed. It's a little different. Yeah. You, are, you, are you heavy with the uh, smoke? Is that it, something that. Is, is it, it, wow. Yeah, yeah, I have to ask I, that, because, I mean, a, you're in the studio a lot. So hey, yo, man, I don't care, man. I'm heavy on the smoking, man. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a heavy smoker, man. My probation, no, I told him I'm not going to quit. I don't, I don't care. I don't <laughs> probation if you that, that's what I was about to say. God, I don't. Of this hey, hey, <laughs> yo, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I, like you know what I mean? This is what like this is what calms me down. Like, I got a, I got an mm-hmm. anger issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've been seeing too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Like, yo, this calm me down. Like, if y'all gonna lock me up for this, how many times y'all gonna lock me up? Cause this is damn near legal now. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Why don't you? Just, why have you ever thought about getting a medical card for it? No, because. I don't need one. I got a, I got a, I got a weed man. He like, <laughs> he like, uh, he like, like, hey, he like is this interview man. legal? Yeah, this is legal. <laughs> this yeah. is legal shit. <laughs> listen, I, I, Where's Khalid? Listen, everybody I, I, got a weed I'm man. I'm just asking. Everybody, everybody got a weed man. Because you got to have probation officers looking at this. My probation officer probably got a weed man. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey. Only thing I want to say, Ty Henny, yeah. keep up the good work, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate Because I see you out here. You're shutting shows down. Yeah, thanks. And, I, I, you know, my other job, you got kids in there going crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I seen you made a surprise visit. Yeah. 
you know, came to the school. Oh, that was dope. Gave a girl her, her birthday gift. Are uh-huh. you serious? You know, she yeah. went crazy. Yeah. She come back on the floor. Tiny just came. I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. I did. You seen what I got? My niece hit my hit my phone <laughs> and snapped and was like, are you with Ty Henny right now? <laughs> you know, and stuff, and responses like that, you can't help but to, you know what I mean, to gravitate towards that type of energy. Yeah. You're definitely making an impact, so... I definitely appreciate you for coming and stopping by. Definitely, I appreciate it too, man. So you know, you know, it's only one thing to do. I'm your boy, Biggie. It's your girl, White Jones. And we the critical crew. And we out. And we gone.